territorial conflict erupted in the rugged South Caucasus mountains of Nagorno-Karabakh in 2016. Amidst the cacophony of gunfire and the reverberating echoes of artillery, a new sound resonated through the sky, the distinct hum of drone engines. The unmanned flying objects were none other than the Harap drones, designed to hover, hunt, and strike with frightening accuracy. Making their operational debut in this high-stakes theater, the loitering munitions developed by Israeli aerospace industries were derived from a battle-proven Cold War-era model. However, the Harap surpassed the characteristics of a typical surveillance drone or a conventional missile. It embodied the attributes of both. From its elevated vantage point above the battlefield, the drone scanned the surroundings in search of potential threats. Once it identified an adversary, the Harup swiftly transformed from observer to aggressor, hurtling toward the enemy and reducing it to mere rubble. And in the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan, the Harup did not merely participate. It reshaped the entire battlefield, blurring the previously defined boundaries between surveillance and assault. were the successor. Loitering munitions, combining the precision of missile strikes with the enduring capabilities of drones, marked a significant advancement in modern warfare. These munitions possess the autonomous ability to identify and eliminate targets across considerable distances. Between 2001 and 2003, the state-owned Israeli Aerospace Industries, or IAI, embarked on a mission to build a larger version of the Harpy, one of the first loitering munitions in the world developed near the end of the Cold War. The outcome of this endeavor was the Harup loitering munition, often referred to as the Harpy II. With a wingspan of 8.2 feet and a weight of almost 300 pounds, the drone stands as a marvel of compact design and technological excellence. Its impressive capabilities include a patrol duration of up to six hours and the ability to deliver a 50.7 pound warhead with the utmost precision. Setting itself apart from its predecessor, the Harup features a distinctive dual Delta Canard wing configuration, enabling its launch from a variety of platforms, sea-based systems, ground-based canisters, or even through air launch, following any desired trajectory. Multifunction Like other loitering munitions, the Harup Kamikaze drone's primary role is offensive, but its versatility extends beyond this function. The drone also has powerful potential for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions, with the ability to fly over 621 miles into enemy territory while searching for high-value marks. With ground-based control and an auto-tracking feature, coupled with a forward-looking infrared camera and 360-degree video coverage, the Harpy 2 can adeptly track and engage moving objectives. Equipped with a radar detector, Harup can autonomously home in on radio-emitting targets, operating similarly to anti-radiation missiles. Its electro-optical sensors also detect non-emitting targets, including deactivated radars and suspected missile sites. Once a target is locked, Harup can descend on it from virtually any direction, demonstrating its versatility and effectiveness in diverse combat scenarios, including urban warfare. Interestingly, the Harup also serves a unique role in neutralizing air defense systems. A specialized variant, the Harpy NG, can hover over an area and instantly take out an activated radar, forcing the defensive systems to remain offline. Moreover, the Harup possesses a radar cross-section that resembles that of a large bird, rendering it a discreet yet potent asset within the arsenal. Export Market Turkey became the inaugural customer of the Harup in 2005, entering into a substantial agreement valued at $100 million. Significantly, the Harup's UK variant, known as the White Hawk, achieved recognition that same year, as it was shortlisted in the UK's program for demonstrating loitering munition capabilities. By 2009, the value of the Harup was further solidified when India finalized a contract of $10 million per drone. Despite the hefty price tag, the Harup's substantial destructive potential, multifaceted operational roles, and groundbreaking technology fortified its status as a crucial asset in modern warfare. This was further confirmed when the Indian Air Force shelled out $100 million for 10 Harups from IAI. Germany didn't stay far behind, securing an undisclosed number of Harup systems. 
a unique version was developed in collaboration with Rheinmetall Defense to cater to their specific needs. Orders were also placed by the Israeli Armed Forces, as well as many other nations. In 2015, IAI showcased the drone's impressive capabilities, including observation, target destruction, flight altitude, maneuvering, and loitering, through a series of operational tests and flight demonstrations. Battle Proven When it comes to tales of battlefield prowess, the Harup loitering munition stands tall. This powerful weapon system cut its teeth in the intense theater of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict in April 2016, marking its first combat deployment. During the encounter, the Azerbaijani forces became the first to test the Harup's battlefield endurance and precision, and the drone didn't disappoint. Azerbaijan launched calculated strikes against Armenian military assets, dismantling their troop transport vehicles and a pivotal command post. After its inaugural deployment, the Harup was set to showcase its prowess yet again, this time under the Israeli Defense Forces' command. Their mission in 2018 was daring, neutralize a formidable Syrian air defense SA-22 Greyhound. Unfazed by the challenge, the Harup swooped in, weaving through the complex Syrian air defenses with its small radar signature. Its precision guidance systems locked onto the target, and within moments, the SA-22 was reduced to rubble. The Kamikaze drone proved its effectiveness once again by successfully achieving its task, this time in the name of its own nation. Then, in 2020, when the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict resurfaced, so did the Harup. Its impressive performance on the battlefield earned high praise from Hikmat Hajiyev, an advisor to Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev, who lauded it by stating that, quote, it's very effective and it works. Furthermore, the Harup's combat exploits have extended beyond Nagorno-Karabakh, and its capabilities were once again put to the test in Western Sahara, where it was deployed by Morocco against the Polisario Front rebels. Even away from the battlefield, the Harup has made waves, as its prowess was acknowledged in an Azerbaijani pop music video, where it was celebrated as a symbol of Azerbaijan's military might. Air, Land, and Sea As a new decade unfolds, the Harup continues to witness further advancements and innovations. In 2021, the Maritime Harup, a naval variant, was unveiled, expanding the Harup's distinctive capabilities beyond land-based operations and into the unpredictable realm of maritime warfare. This seabound variant is designed for ship launch, enhancing naval vessels with an added layer of defense and offense. Integrated with the ship's combat system, the Maritime Harup can autonomously traverse vast maritime expanses, serving as the vessel's extended sensory apparatus. The drone can pinpoint, track, and engage targets at extended ranges, thereby improving the ship's situational awareness and response agility. The Maritime Harup mirrors the combat capabilities of its land-based counterpart, yet it also accommodates the distinct challenges of the maritime environment. Engineered to withstand the corrosive effects of saltwater and harsh weather conditions at sea, it can launch at any angle and trajectory, attuning to a variety of ship configurations and operational scenarios. According to an IAI press release, the Maritime Harup is making its maritime debut in Asia. While the identity of its first customer remains undisclosed, Israel's history of arms sales to Asian nations, such as Thailand, Vietnam, and South Korea, suggests potential buyers. These countries grapple with potential conflicts arising from China's contested claims in the South China Sea. In particular, the Harup drones could bolster South Korean naval vessels against North Korean threats and regional security concerns, including those from China and territorial disputes with Japan. India, facing escalating maritime challenges from Pakistan and China, is also seen as a potential buyer. A long-standing purchaser of Israeli-made munitions, including ground-launched Harups, the nation could find value in this naval variant. The Maritime Harup, with its unique blend of endurance, precision, and most importantly, versatility, is set to redefine naval conflict dynamics. This development underscores the increasingly influential role that drones play in shaping the future of warfare. Thank you for watching our video. If you're as interested in the intersection of technology and defense as us, consider subscribing to our Dark Tech channel and hit the bell icon for timely updates on the latest in military innovation. We publish new content regularly.
so stay tuned.